Alrighty guys, uh, got more stuff soaking in the ultrasonic cleaner. Got some parts cleaned up here, got the port work done on this. I got to modify this piece yet. I did order a Chinesium uh, O25 carb. If I can get this thing together today, uh, I'll see if this carb will even run on it or whatever. But I, I had two relines to choose from. This one needs a rope, but I cleaned it up. I uh, dug through the box. He had a rewind that's got a rope in it, so I'm just going to roll with that one. Uh, I got my springs for the clutch. Uh, I don't have a side cover for this, but I do have this really nice one that I've been saving for one of my my saws. It'll fit. Uh, I don't want to give this. He'll have, to, he'll have to get his own bar and chain. Uh, afterwards but I'll loan my bar and chain and side cover uh, for the event. Gotta modify the flywheel yet. I thought I had seals, I don't, so I dug through the seals on these God they fit the 270s, I think 291s. Uh, let's see it fits a plethora of them. 170s, 180s. Uh, 025s, 021s, 250s, all the seals interchange on these. So I dug through my parts bin on some other crankshafts and I stole two uh, flywheel side uh, seals that are still soft and pliable and, and still good. So I'm gonna, you know, this is a cheap saw anyway. So uh, the best cheap piston I got, she's got. Uh, some carbon scoring, but uh, is what it is. I don't care. I got a set of half clapped out rings here. Uh, was hoping I had a little bit better set. These things are razor sharp on the sides. Might do some digging. Uh, I'm trying to think what. Might have some down in the shed actually. Um, I think the. I think there's a little top or 192 I think might share the same rings as this I don't know I might look into that but I can show you the port work uh, like I said nothing nothing special there's the intake uh, modified the lowers didn't touch the uppers didn't raise the exhaust but I changed the shape of the exhaust uh, cleaned up the combustion chamber a little bit we're gonna roll with it that's what I got I'm gonna do a timing advance I'm going to modify this piece uh, this, there's different cylinders. I don't know how many guys are going to throw 180s on theirs. be like a little mini big board kit. But I have a one, I have a 180 right here. Uh, I think you can get more power out of the 180s. They have a better shaped uh, combustion chamber. Uh, but they have a bigger bigger piston unfortunately I don't have rings for this one but I don't think you can run this in the 170 class I think that would be considered cheating because it does change the displacement but uh, the bore is a little bigger on the 180s but I got this clapped out 170 set up here's another uh, newer style 170 I don't know, I'm almost wondering if I shouldn't have used this cylinder now looking at it. This older one has a crummier combustion chamber. I really like this. this got a better combustion chamber than the 180, but I don't know. I'm not too late now. I've already got that one ported. But these have a crummier exhaust. This has a crummier exhaust port. I like the exhaust port uh, much better on the older one. So I don't know. I think I'll get more power out of this one the way I, way I did it right now than that other cylinder. So we'll we'll roll with it. But uh, my goal today is to have this somewhat put together today, maybe running. Uh, I don't know how long it'll take. I ordered an eight dollar uh, carburetor. I normally have them in stock, but I don't. But that's the port work on this. I can't tell you what the numbers are because uh, 
I didn't check them. I just blind ported it, did all all lower work, widening and rechanging the shapes on some of the ports and didn't touch the uppers at all. That's what I'm rolling with. I'm not putting much more energy uh, into this type of saw. So, but uh, there you guys go. You guys take it easy.